Hi everyone, Cosmic Mango here, your favourite mango from outer space. I hope you're all doing well today. We all love Commander. It is by far the most fun Magic the Gathering format. Well, in my opinion it is. And even though I love the majority of the cards, there is the dreaded few who cause nothing but mischief, confusion and just plain annoyance. I'm here today to talk about these pesky cards with a list I've made of what I think are some of the most hated cards in the Commander format. So my friends, sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Number one, Confusion in the Ranks. An enchantment spell that costs two red mana and three colorless mana, which says the following. Whenever an artifact, creature, or enchantment enters the battlefield, its controller chooses target permanent another player controls that shares a card type with it exchange control of those permanents. So yes, just like the name of the card, this card is indeed a little bit confusing. Basically, whenever a player casts an artifact, creature or enchantment spell, the controller of that spell picks targets another player controls that shares the same type with it, and then they exchange them. This card is really annoying, as nothing you cast is yours, and everyone else is the same then everyone's best stuff just gets suckled around the table to player to player. It slows down the game and it makes it frustrating as you don't really get to play your own deck. Number two, Blood Moon, another red enchantment. This one costs one red mana and two colorless mana and it says the following, non-basic lands are mountains. This free mana enchantment is going to completely shut down decks that run multiples amount of mana as it's likely they are not running too many basic lands. Yes, this card is very powerful for the controller, as they are most probably playing a mono red deck full of basic lands, but for the opponents facing this scary looking moon, it's a nightmare. This ability is so simple, yet so restricting. Number 3, Armageddon. No, not the great movie from 1998. Uh, this card costs 1 white mana and 3 colorless mana, which says the following destroy all lands. Yes, this card destroys all the lands. Everyone hates land destruction. Whenever it's played, people become super salty. It's kind of like one of those unwritten rules. You don't play land destruction in Commander, as it causes a lot of pain and suffering. The game slows down massively, and it's a rubbish being stuck with no lands to cast anything. Number 4, Voinclex, Voice of Hunger. A creature that costs 2 green mana and 6 colorless mana, which says the following. Trample. Whenever you tap a land for mana, add 1 mana to your mana pool of any type that land produced. Whenever an opponent taps a land for mana, that land doesn't untap during its controller's next untap step. Yes, we've all seen this card. Yes, we all know how powerful this card is for its controller. Not much to say, but it sucks playing against this card big time. Locking down our lands for a turn is super annoying. Vaughan Clox is a very, very evil monster. Number 5. Protein Hulk. A creature that costs 2 green and 5 colorless mana, which says the following. When Protein Hulk is put into the graveyard from the battlefield, search your library for any number of creature cards with total converted mana cost 6 or less, and put them onto the battlefield. Then shuffle your library. Protein Hulk is a combo piece used to tutor a lot of winning combos. It's been done so many times that it's now just boring watching a Protein Hulk combo. There are multiple combos he can pull off, and yet they all just end the same. Your opponent's looking annoyed because the game has ended in a really lame and boring way. Number 6, Cyclonic Rift. An instant spell that costs 1 blue and 1 colorless mana, which says the following. Return target non-land permanent you don't control to its owner's hand. Overload. For 6 mana, uh, you may cast a spell with its overload cost. If you do, you exchange it by replacing all instances of target with each. Sorry, it's 6 mana and 1 blue, by the way. Yes, that overload hurts. It's insanely powerful. I feel like this card is so strong that every player that comes across it always remembers the first time they see it cast. I remember reading the card for the first time, and I went over it like five times. And I was like, what? What's this card do? The card is just nuts. It's fun to cast, horrible to play against. Number 7, Ristic Study, an enchantment spell that costs 1 blue and 2 colorless mana, which says the following. Whenever an opponent casts a spell, you may draw a card, unless that player pays 1 mana. 
All I'm going to say is, do you pay one? <laughs> the most annoying words to hear in magic. No joke, it's so frustrating having to pay one mana to the Ristic Study for each spell you cast. So yes, this is my list of what I believe are some of the most hated cards in Commander. Do you agree with my list? Have you experienced any horrible games against these cards? If so, please leave a comment below. I'd love to hear your stories. I try my best to answer to all your comments. Thanks for making it this far into the video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and subscribe. Goodbye.